So the first two drinks that we make are two uh, variations on the espresso martini. The first one is the espresso martinique, um, and it's uh, an espresso martini made without espresso, without coffee. We use algebra for all the, you know, the coffee goodness. Uh, we use a martinique uh, AOC, um, pure cane juice, agricole rum. Uh, we use Clément here. We are going to lengthen the drink slightly with uh, coconut water. Coconut water is, is going to be a great uh, flavor bridge between you know, the grassy rum notes of the agricole rum and, and the coffee notes and the bitterness in the, uh, in the coffee liqueur. And we need to add just a touch of sweetener. Again, algebra is quite dry. So we use just uh, five milliliter of uh, unrefined or demerara cane uh, sugar syrup. We shake it up, double strain it, uh, just before we actually, before we double strain it into our frozen uh, glass, we're just going to add just a bit more of, uh, you know, tropical citrus notes by expressing a short um, a coin of lime peel and a short uh, um, peel of orange at the bottom of the frozen glass just before we strain it. When we do that, the uh, Froth that is going to emerge at the top of the glass is going to pick up all of those aromatic oils. You're going to have a beautifully uh, rum and citrus scented uh, and coffee scented uh, froth on your espresso martinique. The second espresso martini variation is what we call the Oaxaca espresso. And again, you know, it's inspired by the Jalisco espresso, which was made uh, with obviously 100% uh, agave tequila. And here we, so we don't use coffee again, we use algebra, 60 ml of algebra to do the role of the coffee liqueur and the coffee. We use uh, 25 ml of mezcal and we uh, add just a touch of sweetness with five milliliters or a bar spoon, a small bar spoon of uh, agave syrup. Again, shake it up, double strain it into a nice glass, a frozen glass, uh, garnish with three coffee beans, and it, it's, a really nice, uh, it's a really nice drink. Coffee and roasted flavors and the slight earthy notes of the mezcal are just a great combination. It's a simple combination, but it works absolutely brilliantly. Another espresso martini variation uh, that I like is uh, what we call the uh, tropical Irish coffee. Uh, and the inspiration came from working you know, in some shaken drinks with pineapple juice and seeing how pineapple juice, which is very rich in fibers, you know, uh, lends a beautiful froth to you know, sour cocktails. And 
the idea was to combine this with also you know, the emulsifying power of the coffee component in, uh, in algebra. So the drink is, you know, it's, it's a cold, tropical, you know, a summertime variation on the Irish coffee. So we don't use any cream and all, you know, the creaminess is going to come from the coffee and the shaking with the pineapple juice. So the specs are uh, 50 ml of algebra, 25 ml of a really good uh, Irish whiskey, 10 milliliters of pineapple juice, and just again a little bit of uh, sugar syrup just to balance the drink. We use, you know, again a small bar spoon or five milliliters. Shake everything, you know, uh, with a smile and with lots of energy over ice. Double strain into a frozen um, uh, Irish coffee glass, and there you have it the uh, tropical Irish coffee.